It's time for the moment you've been waiting for. So kids and adults, are you ready? Wendy's and SpongeBob are teaming up to bring the best day ever to your taste. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> hey guys, how excited are you for this? Very good, very good. We got the Krabby Patty, man. Wendy's just dropped their version of the Krabby Patty. Is it a scam? Is this the real Krabby Patty with that secret sauce? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um. The late creator of Spongebob had a very specific rule for the series, and Nickelodeon and Wendy's just broke it. Tastes an awful lot like a Dave's double. Mm -mm. No. No! Tastes like a normal Wendy's burger. Tillenberg was staunchly anti-fast food, and he insisted that his characters never sell fast food in real life. I don't taste the crabby aspect. Spongebob would be pissed! I don't like the patty. Don't it look too good. He explicitly told the New York Times in 2004, and we didn't want to suddenly become the people serving up food that's not that good for you, especially kids. Some woman named Wendy stole my formula, and I'm pissed. Let me speak to Wendy, man. Where the hell's Wendy at? All right, y'all boys. In case you didn't hear, Curry Patty's in the market right now. Everybody trying to get their hands on the Curry Patty on formula. Today's October 7th, the last day before this promotion is over. And my goal is to go to um, five different spots in South Florida to see who has the best Krabby Patty burger, you feel me? But in case you didn't know, Wendy's not the only spot that's doing the Curry Patty meal. There's different spots across the nation that's doing it, you feel me? We're going to those five spots and we're going to see who has the best burger in town, you feel me? This is the 25th anniversary of Spongebob, and we're gonna celebrate with a bang. Hopefully they don't forget the pickles, and yeah, let's get it. Grab up those fires. It's time for ready for one Krabby Patty. Yeah, these boys most definitely spit on my burger, fam, the way I walked into this establishment, dog. And the damn burger feels cold, you feel me? They didn't make it with no love. Look at this, dog. They put some... Well, they ain't forget the pickles, thank God. But they put some like Krabby Patty special sauce in this junk to make it Krabby Patty. Other than that, it's a regular as Wendy's Days Burger. There ain't nothing special about these. There ain't nothing special about this damn burger. Three, two, one. This is a regular ass burger, bro. You barely even taste the sauce. Out of 10, I mean, some of that water, too. Wendy's was hyping this shit up for months. They released the burger. It's a regular ass burger, bro. And because of that, it is slightly disappointing. So out of 10, you probably give it like I got five barnacles out of 10. <laughs> five barnacles out of 10. Maybe lower than that. This shit is not all that. It's not bad for a standard burger from Wendy's, but for it to be hyped up for a curry patty, it's just like a regular ass burger, fam. Ain't nothing special about this shit. It's a five barnacles out of 10. Maybe less. All right, on to the next spot. You know me, I'm about to do my little reverse parking technique. You feel me? Back it up. Back it up. Back it up, 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 back it up. Woo! We at the second spot. About to enjoy this delicious, legit, not Wendy's, but legit Krabby Patty. Let's get it. We at Pincho right now. We just got our Krabby Patty came with the box. And this is quite impressive. You know, I like Wendy's. It'll give you anything but the damn burger. But here, it's all out. I'm trying to figure out how to open this box without, like, Messing it up, you feel me? Now the burger is quite small. Before we get to the burger, I always order some kelp fries from the show, and I'm about to see how the fries are actually, see if it's good. It's like regular fries to me, but this is not the reason why we're here. Not for the fries, not for the box, we're here for the burger itself. Wow. Presentation-wise, it looks very like delicious, I'm not gonna lie, it looks very good. The, the bread's not really cut properly, but it's whatever. Oh damn, this is a lot. Ketchup, mustard, I'm assuming the Krabby Patty sauce they have at Wendy's as well. Get the pickles, all that stuff. And here's the best part, we're gonna devour it now, you feel me? I was told that the um the creator of Spongebob, I forgot his name, I can remember, but the creator of Spongebob, when he first created the show, he vowed to never, ever sell a legit Krabby Patty. Unfortunately, that promise was never fulfilled because he passed away a couple years ago. I feel like whoever took over Spongebob went over his promise and now we're here. But let's see how this burger is. Here we go. Mm. One thing for sure, way better than Wendy's, I'll say that. Yeah. Taste-wise, it's nothing too crazy, but it's pretty good. Way better than Wendy's, I'll say that. So how many barnacles am I giving this? Off the first bite, I'm gonna need to take another bite to see how really give it a proper score system. 
good okay. seven out of um, ten barnacles. You feel me? Why am I using barnacles as a score system? I don't care. Well, now on to the next spot. <laughs> At the third spot for today, Bagel Boss in Miami, fam. You have the curry patty? That stuff's selling it? Uh, dog, that is so crazy, bro. We drove all the way to Miami to Burger. What's it called? Bagel, Bagel Boss? What is it called? Bagel Boss? You see that right there? We come here, walked inside their establishment just for them to tell us, oh, we don't sell the Krabby Patty, fam. So what's 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 the point, fam? What's the point? We're in Miami right now. We better go to the next spot. It's called Cowie Burger. We go to see if they have the Krabby Patty. They don't have I'm about to crash out in that store. I'm about to air, I'm about to air that shit out, fam. I'm not going to do that shit, man. I ain't going to do that shit. I'm not on that time. I'm not a YN. But still, I'm going to be pissed if I go to the next spot. They don't have the Krabby Patty, fam. I tried calling the next spot, but it looked like they don't even have a phone number. They got an emo. What is this? 1800s dot, but fuck it. We're gonna go to the next spot. Hopefully, Cowie Burger did not let me down. Hopefully, y'all niggas have the Krabby Patty. Even though today's the last day for the burger, the day is not over yet. It's not over until the 28th, fam. The 27th, y'all better have this damn burger for us to eat, fam. Oh, oh, I heard this is relatively new. Opened about two um, months ago, so it's, it's a very fresh, young establishment. But you know, they're clapping with Optimani to do the Krabby Patty. I'm gonna see how. Good it is over here. We better go inside and order right now. Let's get it. These niggas are waxing, dog. These niggas charging me twenty dollars for this right here. Dog. Are you serious? Twenty dollars for this Thai burger. It better taste like twenty dollars, fam. It don't look like twenty dollars to me. Look at this twenty dollars, bro. Let's look at the burger real quick. You feel me? Well, before I even take a bite of it, let's take a look of the inside of the burger. You feel me? What the hell is this monstrosity, dog? I heard it's a smash burger, so it does look smashed like a mother. You feel me? All right, let's take a bite out of this. Mm. This is the caramelized onions. It's very good. Very, very good. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't know what makes this a patty patty. This is a regular ass, like, caramelized smash burger, but it's pretty good. Bro, this is very good, but it's too overfucking price, bro. This is a 9 out of 10. How you doing, buddy? How you doing, brother? Junior. Carlos, nice to meet you. How you doing, Carlos? So, you know, we just tried the um the Krabby Patty here. I'm gonna give you my honest review. Yeah, no bullshit, you know? So, we had it, we eat it, we ate it, we loved it. The caramelized onions was very good. I never had a smash burger before. This is my first time actually. It being my first time, I'll you see me hopefully come back down again. And actually, with the Krabby Patty, there's an interest, interesting story. When we when we got this opportunity to partner with Nickelodeon and Paramount Plus, we Optimating. decided that that we wanted to do something that's a burger that we would love. We understand the history of the Krabby Patty and how in the series it's a very simple burger with uh, lettuce and tomatoes. But we wanted to create something that was more on the Kawi brand, you know, our, it's our interpretation of the Krabby Patty. So that's why we added different flavors, brie cheese, crispy onions, elevates the burger to something that we really enjoy. United you know States Burger Service, you feel me? There's our fourth burger of the day. Oh, shit, look at the fries, man. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for the Krabby Patty itself. So, open up the bag. Damn, the bag is wet, you get it? Damn, greasy, it just it looks unhealthy. Holy shit. Oh my God. Damn. Open up the burger. What the hell is this? No oh. pickles. Presentation wise, I'm not really feeling it. That is very good, very good. Probably better than Cowie Burger. Okay. My only critique is that, same with Cowie Burger, it doesn't look like a Krabby Patty. But despite the presentation, despite the looks, it's phenomenal. But $20 for this 19 bucks? Bro, they overpriced on these burgers, dog. They're still good, though. I'm glad you. I'm on to the next spot, Mo. <laughs> yeah, we made it, man. This is the last spot, Libero Burgers. We call it Libero Bar Burger. After a long day of just going around South Florida trying to see who has the best burgers, you feel me, the Curry Patty Mill. We're at the last establishment, you feel me? Like I always say, don't like, don't comment, and most importantly, don't subscribe. Let's go inside. So, this is the last spot, Libero Bar Burger. One thing I'm peeping is that this is a heavy box. Out of all the boxes we got today, this is the heaviest. We haven't looked at it, but it being heavy, that's probably a good sign. It's a heavy burger, fam. Holy crap, the fries are humongous, dog. This shit, these are the best looking friends of y'all all day. This shit look humongous, dog. All right, let's see how this shit looks. That is a Krabby Patty, fam. Look at this shit, bro. That's a Krabby Patty, fam. Lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, onions, all that shit. This is a Krabby Patty. In my opinion, so far today, Presentation wise, it's probably the best looking crap we got all day. This is where, this is where we fucked up. Ordered it well done. Too chewy. Feel like if I ordered this burger at a different temp, it would have been better, but it's still not bad. I'm just not a well done type of person for to put burgers, you feel me? But it's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. Bro, I'm still chewing on this thing. It's well done, bro. 8 out of 10, I'm sorry. Well, so for today, let's head outside. Boom. 
It's ranking time. We made our way up from Wendy's and made our way back down to Liberal Bar Burger, fam. Trying to rank these burgers from one through five. We have five burgers today. We're gonna to see what's the best burger out of the five, you feel me? We're gonna to talk about presentation and taste. And started with the worst, we have to be Wendy's. Shocker, now it's not really a shock. We all knew it was gonna be Wendy's. I gotta watch on some I feel like because of that, they didn't make it with no love and care in the world, fam. We got the burger. Presentation-wise, it was it was abysmal. It was like they didn't even care. It wasn't all that. It was overhyped. For it to be overhyped, it looked like that. It's very disappointing. I give it a good. I had it at five. It went down to like a two out of ten barnacles. So it's disgusting. The fourth one, and it just shows that we had some very good burgers today. It's very competitive. The fourth best burger we had today was probably Pico Burger Krabby Patty. It wasn't. It wasn't that bad. But just like I said, it was just so competitive. Every burger we had was good today. Pico's was number four. Presentation was top notch out of all the burgers we had today. That's probably one of the few that looked like an actual Krabby Patty. But despite that, it wasn't bad, but it's on the fourth spot. I give it a good like seven out of 10 barnacles. It wasn't that bad. The third best spot would have to be, to me, the Beer Bar Burger. I feel like it would be up there if I ordered it on a different temp. You feel me? I had it well done, which wasn't that bad. But despite it being well done, I had to give it a up the third best spot, you feel me? Presentation wise, out of all the burgers we have today, that one tasted and looked as, I won't say table, it looked like a Krabby Patty. From the freaking sesame seeds to the lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, all of that shit. I'll give it a good eight out of 10 barnacle. Wasn't that bad, it was pretty good. On to the next one. So the second best Krabby Patty we had today, and drum roll, dun, da -da 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 -da. Cowie Burger. The only critique I have for that spot is that it looked like a Krabby Patty, but the guys, um, the guy that owned the spot said he wanted it to be distinct and like different from the other spots. And with that, with the caramelized onions and the smash burger all combined into one, it was very delicious, fam. It was very good, just too overpriced, fam. So all the burgers we had to was just too damn overpriced, but Cowie Burger, top notch. Shout out to Cowie Burger, shout out to Carlos. I did a good job on that burger, and that won't be my last time going there. Shout out to Cowie Burger. And number one, to me, no shocker, United States Burger Service. Number one for me was very good, very memorable. It didn't like a pet, of course, but it was very nice. I wish I, I wish I could have talked to somebody that owned the spot to give us a rundown as to why it went with that look and that taste. But despite that, it was very good. The bad news is that today is the 27th of October, the last day to order crab Patty. Once it hits midnight, you cannot order and get crab Patty anywhere ever again. The only thing is that it was just overpriced and some of the burgers, it didn't look like a crab Patty, but it was still good. But like I always say, don't like, don't comment, and most importantly, don't subscribe to my channel. I'm full, I got the ningitis, I'm about to take a nap, I'm out. Hey buddy. There's another one, there's another one. All right, I'll get where you at. Come on, buddy. That's right. Not even a thank you or nothing, bro.